So the question of the day today is, are these old collector spoons worth anything? We picked these two cases up for $20 at a yard sale this morning. Uh, the lady wanted 10 for both of them, and I said, you know what, I'm going to give you 20 I know some of these are sterling, but I don't know how many, so let, let's take a look at them, see what we find in here. Okay, so here's what we found. We have 74 spoons in all. Uh, nine of them are silver, sterling. These are the ones that are not. So these are just all kinds of different souvenir spoons, some advertising, but mostly souvenir spoons from the country and around the world. And there's an advertising one, Morton Salt. And these are not sterling. This is just a nice match set, which does have a little bit of value by its own pattern. This case has no glass in it. And this one does have the glass. So again, just a whole bunch of different advertising. States, landmarks, things like that. So anyway, um, these turn out to sell, you know, in the five plus or minus range uh, at retail. Some of them may be $10 because they're not sterling. So we're going to end up bringing these to the flea market for $3 a piece. And I'm sure we'll sell some of them and then maybe we put them all together. I'm sure by the end of the weekend, someone's going to make an offer on both cases and all that's left. Or maybe right away, you never know. We did find nine sterling ones and weighs about just under three ounces for the nine of them. So that would be like $50 or so right now at current prices, just in scrap value. Um, and if you saw one of our last videos, you'll see how we determine that and what we determine is scrap and what's saleable whole. So basically, we're going to focus on these nine. Because this is, these are the ones that we can sell individually, or we could sell them in a big lot, but they all have merit of their own to make them a little more collectible. These three will probably end up at, they're worth about $5 a piece in scrap, and it'd be hard to sell them for more than that. So they may end up in that pile. Some ones of note, though, this one is from Huntsville, Texas. It's got the, the Lone Star and the, and the Longhorn. Uh, really a nice spoon. Can't find any examples like it, but we do find that there are quite a few collectors for Huntsville and some items sell very well. So we're thinking that that one is, you know, in the $30 plus or minus range, maybe 50. This one is from Mexico, and El Pyramides is, you know, the Mexican pyramids. Maybe I pronounced that right, maybe not. But anyway, things from that era and destination seem to sell pretty well. So that's another nice one. This is New Mexico with a deer, maybe a $10, maybe 15 We can certainly ask 10 uh, This is a baby spoon. That's marked 1890 or just 91 in the back, but that would be 1891. And this New Orleans spoon, same thing, 1891. And then this one on the end, it's got this flower. And that appears to be dated maybe 1876, hard to tell for sure. So we may take a closer look at that. But these are, you know, anywhere from 25 or 30 to, you know, 10 and 15. So... That was pretty good for $20. I'm sure we'll get about 100 out of these somehow, one way or another, or pretty close to. And then at least another 100 in these, you know, if we can piece them out. And even if we don't, you know, like I said, it's 50 in scrap, but we won't. I think we'll get the 50 just back on this one. Anyway, that's how that, that turned out. Pretty happy for the $20 we spent. And we've got some great looking inventory for the flea market, too. It'll attract a lot of attention. So these are the kind of ones you want to be looking out for, something with nice specific subject matter. And the common ones, sure, I buy them again, but not for very much money. Anyway, hopefully you find that video helpful. It would be great if you would subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll know when we put up another video. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.